All right, cool. This is generalized double dispatch devirtualization. Okay, so how do you access the concrete type of a dynamic class? Uh, one way you can do it is with dynamic cast with a bunch of if-else checks, but dynamic cast is pretty expensive, usually an order of magnitude slower than a vtable lookup. There's a whole bunch of benchmarks about it. Go look them up. Um, so what is double dispatch? Double dispatch is a way to apply a dynamic class of operations to a concrete set of types via their common interface. Um, so you have an intermediate class that can visit each of the concrete types of a given virtual base class, and then each concrete type provides an equivalent implementation that applies to the visitor. So here's an example. You have a cat, dog, and mouse, and you have an animal visitor that can visit each of these types. You have a constant animal visitor, and you have an animal that has some apply methods that can apply these visitor classes. And then your actual concrete classes will have the implementations of these which then pass themselves into the visit function. And because they're the concrete types, they'll call the particular methods, and you get this kind of two-way virtual table lookup. So here's a, an example of a visitor. It signs a value for each different animal. Cats one, dogs are two, masses are three. Uh, calls the visitor. You call a, you create a unique pointer to each of these. You um, to a dog, and you apply the visitor to it, and you return the value. So this is the output. You get about a thousand lines of assembly. Turn on 03, and it's like magic. You get return to because there's a dog. So. The unique pointers, it knows that you don't need the actual virtual alloc the, um, allocation, so it can get rid of the, the heap allocation. It knows exactly what types they are, so you get rid of the two vtable lookups. And it knows that because all the vtables, all, all of the vtable lookups are already done, it doesn't need to commit the vtable pointers, so you get return to. So, wait. <laughs> so, it can't take it, so this can take advantage of the class ability to devirtualize the function call if all the types are known. And it's easy to not miss cases when you're adding new types. You just add them to visitor. If they're missing, then you get compile error. So let's generalize. We want to be able to uh, declare new concrete classes with minimal overhead. And you want to have minimal boilerplate code in the visitor and visible classes and adding new types. So we can do it with CRTP. So we've got a visitor base for a particular visit visible type. And then we've got a iVisitor, which can visit some parameter pack of visibles. So in this case, that'd be cat, dog, and mouse. And the same for cons. And then you have a visitor set that just kind of has this convenience method. Your iVisitable class is going to use those visitor types to define the visitors and then define the apply method. And then your actual implementation is going to be the CRTP thing that takes itself and then the virtual vis visitor base class and then calls the static class to call the actual apply method. So your actual apl application code now fits on one slide. You've got this little thing where you've got an iVisitor set, your animal is an iVisible of those and then your cat, dog, and mouse are visitors of themselves and the base class. And then you get this really nice thing, and the output is exactly the same. You have return two. So this is nice, but we still want some kind of analog to std visit and overload, like the idiom that that has. So you know, it's kind of inconvenient to write out. You want to be able to use it with like a set of lambdas for your visit. So we can do that with a bit of template recursive inheritance. So we're going to take a parameter pack of callables, and we're going to pull out the function, the argument that that callable takes using boost callable traits to find the first argument, and then we can use that to find out which particular visit we want to overload. And then we take this thing as like a parameter pack. We have a deduction guide. Because we need the virtual base class, we need to know what visit type is, so we take that using the identity visit type, and we need to move it from the type space into the value space because we don't have partial deduction guides in C++ yet. And then our base case of the inheritance looks kind of like this, like it's just implementing the, the actual virtual base class. And then just because we don't want to type out the identity type every time, we add these little like, convenience things, and then we get code that looks like this. So all this fits in one slide. You've got something that looks really similar to visit with overloaded and Without optimizations, you get 1,600 lines of assembly. With optimizations, you get two. And that's it. <laughs>